Sorry, Shalom. First off, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostle and elders at Great Millstone. And Shalom to you brothers that's preaching this word in sincerity and truth. It's a couple of the brothers from the SF Bay Area, um, Bay Area camp, all right? GMS, that is. We, we're on the way to, um, to camp right now, so we just wanted to do an in-transit lesson, basically an uh, open forum. We're just going to let the, the spirit, uh, spirit flow, okay? Basically, we're going to go into prophecy, man, with, with these other these other pseudo Israelite camps don't go into in which you're not gonna um, you're not gonna hear inside of these harlot houses, these churches, all right, nor anywhere else, you know, other than the men of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right. And we're in the time of, of prophecy uh, coming to pass in a in a in a um, in a mo in a multitude, you know. It's a lot going on because we're at the ending uh, milliseconds of Esau's kingdom, all right. So yeah, we're just gonna just gonna go ahead and uh, go through the spirit. And hopefully it will be edifying to you, brothers. You can, you can start with that one. Second uh, Ezra 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the, in the world because they have walked in great pride. Yeah, many great miseries is on the way. Matter of fact, you, Baba Kishaw, you can grab uh, uh, Ezekiel, the second chapter, 2 and 9. Yeah, many great miseries is on the way uh, uh, to, to, the, uh, to earth, all right? You know, the four corners, that is. And, and what? The greatest miseries and in, in, um, in, uh, lamentations and basically destruction and woe is going to take place here in Babylon. The, the Lord is saving the best for last. You notice how it's all it's all hell breaking out, um, breaking out throughout uh, the Middle East, all these other countries, all right, and um, in Africa, all right, you know, all over the world. And what what's going on here in America, all right? People, people are, are 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 just living it up, you know, where they can conveniently watch on their on their TVs or on the internet. The rest of the world can't catch, catch hell, you know. So it's gonna hit this place off guard, man. When the the, um, the economy collapse, all right. You people have no sort, no uh, no resources, no food, no shelter, you know. You people are pretty much gonna be at each other next. You're gonna you're gonna learn that your government been deceiving you this whole time, you know. It, it's all gonna it's all gonna sink in and it, it mentions how that that, that great pride too because uh, the typical american has yep. a lot of pride yep. they they proud of the boast about the things they got they proud about just their whole lifestyle in general that they proud of that mentality of that alistair crowley like do as i will so they don't they don't consider anything possible happening to them because that's how proud they are they think that since they're in america that no, nothing bad can happen to them as long as they work their nine to five, pay their bills, they could just do whatever they want, and, and that's just gonna be their lifestyle. Yeah. And they don't realize that it's great misery is coming upon this place. All right, the time of Jacob's trouble, the time that hasn't never been before, such tr such troubles and evils that the scriptures say that it's gonna be it's gonna be real bad out here, the worst times. And, and the scriptures say pride come before a downfall and before destruction, and that's what's coming to this place, you know. Cause like the brother just brought out, hey man, this place, this that's that's the uh, the spirit of Babylon to be a Babylonian, which you would term, which you would uh, in lame's term, uh, American. You know, I'm proud to be American. It comes with a spirit, man. You know, because this is this is the spirit point of wickedness here in Babylon, and that's why all these people love it here. Different countries, they they leave they leave their um their customs, their nation, their country to come over here and indulge in wickedness, man. To have liberty, to uh to be a demon. Two thirds, they love it here, man. All right, cause they can, they can do, um, they can do, they can do drugs, you know. They can do, uh, sell drugs to their own people, commit adultery, be homos, all the works, basically everything outside of, of serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and the law, statute, and commandments. You can do it here in Babylon, and you won't be uh, ashamed about it. You won't be judged for it. All right, it's just one big ass uh, demonic party here, you know. Yeah, it's Ezekiel uh, 2, Ezekiel 2 and 9. And when I looked, behold, a hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of up. a book was therein. Yeah, the roll of the book is talking about the scriptures. Yep. You know, you keep going. And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and there was written therein lamentations and mournings and woe. And that's all you see throughout the scriptures is, is basically lamentation, mourning, and woe. That's all that's coming to this place. It's not no, like the, this church, the church would tell you, all good and happy things are coming to your way. 
Nah, man, it's nothing but death, destruction, and, and mourning, man. Lamentation, mourning, and woe. That's all that's coming here. As this place continues to go on, you're going to see more people um, getting more depressed, yep. more opioids. More miseries. More miseries, yeah. <laughs> you know? That's why that's, the love of many shall wax cold. Yep, and it was just... um. Uh, I, I, I did a show on it earlier today We were reading the sign right now It says we're on the Bay Bridge Where we're entering towards the Bay Bridge Toll Plaza And it says accident at Bay Bridge Toll Plaza Major delays You know because there um, there was a big truck all right, That ran into one of the toll booths Took out one of the toll, toll collectors You know so there Hey man that's, one, that's, that's the beginning of sorrows man All this you know and these, hey man, this this whole this whole Bay Bridge and toll shit, it's a racket, you know. It's yeah. wicked, you know what I mean? It's supposed to be used. The money that from the Bay Bridge is supposed to be used to fix up different things in the in the um, economy, you know, like far as the roads and different things, and everything's still fucked up. Yep. They actually talking about going up higher on the Bay, on the bridge toll, yep. just to to pay for things that they already supposed to be paying for. That's right. So man. it's just nothing but a racket for Esau to get more money out of you. Just tax you more and more. You people, you people do it with no, with no, um, with no bucking up, no looking into it. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't, uh, you don't second guess nothing. You people are, are, are zombies, man. You don't protest no damn toll booths. You know, y'all guys protest everything in the world, but y'all won't, y'all won't protest against this bullshit, man. But hey, man, that was good for that that damn demon, man. Lord's will, it continue to happen. More, more trucks and more cars ram into you the toll booths you told collectors you know hey man get some of you 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 uh california highway patrol as well you demons uh you have more on that i, I had yeah, a, that was, that okay was i got a precept this is um amos 5 and 18 woe unto you that desire the day of the lord to what end is it for you yeah destruction unto you who desire the day of the lord because like I was saying about the churches, yep. they, they tell you that that's going to be a good time when the Lord's coming back. It's going to be all good. N nothing's bad going to happen. Everybody's going to be saved. All this BS basically when it's actually it's bad. It's a bad day thing for a majority of the people in this world because two thirds are going to be destroyed. And everybody, all these heathens and everything, they're going to be destroyed, too. Yep. So how's it's how is it a good thing for you when the, when the Lord come to return? That's right. Well, Revelation, what the uh, the first chapter one and seven, you know, when he returns, it's gonna be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Hey, Amen. Cause it's gonna be, it's not gonna be what you expect. <laughs> you know, you expect to see Esau, you know, uh, 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 doves, rainbow clouds, and all that, Pegasus, all those happy thoughts that Esau uh, uses manipulate you people into thinking. Hey, man, you're gonna see a a big austere so-called black man, the chariots. All right, hey man, you gonna know deep down that hey man, this this is not good, not good for you guys. You know, yeah. it says, uh, "Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord." To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Yeah, it's, it's darkness and not light. Cause the, when a cherry is coming, it's gonna black out the whole yep. sky, man. Yep. All right, to what end is it for you? Cause you thinking that it's gonna be a good thing, but it's really it's gonna be bad. Because when the Lord returns, you're going to know in your spirit that he's not coming to help you. Yeah, you ain't right. He, you're not right, and he came to destroy you. Yeah. You're going to be seeing, air, just like in World of Worlds, you're going to see other people getting zapped. And you're going to be bugging out because you gonna you know you're going to be one of the next ones to get zapped. You just don't know when. Mm -hmm. Yep. I forgot what that, uh, the scripture. Um, the ex expectation of the wicked is, yeah. is wrath. Yep. Uh, I'm going to grab that next, Lord's will. Matter of fact, I'm going to look it up. Okay, go for it. Huh? This is Luke 12 and uh, 49. It says, I am coming to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it be already kindled? Yeah, the Lord came to send fire on the earth, man. He's not come, He didn't come here to send out peace and love to everybody like they try to tell you in the churches. He's not coming out, coming here, hands open, trying to give everyone hugs, saying, speaking all softly to you. No, nah, man, the Lord's coming here with fire, man. All right? And it, the uh, the missiles are already gonna be hitting here too, so you're gonna be that's just gonna be just like fire on top of fire. It's gonna be race wars too, yeah, fires and burning, it. you know. Right. Yeah. It says, but I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how am I uh, strained till it be accomplished? 
Suppose ye that I'm coming to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, rap, but rather division. Yeah, so the churches, they tell you that the Lord is coming to give peace, but the Lord actually is not coming to give peace. He came for division. All right? He came here to the, he going to destroy, man. He came back for war, man. You know, the Lord said, told his servants, if this is my kingdom, we my servants will fight. Yeah. So he coming back for his kingdom and he's coming back for war. You know, you have more on that? Yeah, a little bit more Go ahead, bro. For from henceforth, they shall be five in one house divided three against two and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father and the mother against the daughter and the daughter against the mother and the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And he said, uh, he said also to the people, when you see a cry, uh, when you see a cloud rise out of the west, straightway ye shall there come there cometh a shower, and so it is. And when you see the south wind blow, ye say, there will be heat, and it has come to pass. Ye hypocrites, ye can you ye can discern the face of the sky of the earth, but how is it that ye do not discern this time? Yeah, you oh go ahead, bro. You got, got it. it. Yeah, you can't discern the uh the signs of the times, you know, because you people are, are reprobate, you're void of understanding, void of judgment. You can look in the sky and tell, all right, it's about to, it's about to be cloudy today. It's about to rain, all right. You know, or it's fair weather. It's, it's going to be good weather today. Let's go to the beach type of weather. But you people can't discern spiritually. You're spiritually discerning. You know, you can't discern the time that we're in. You know, the end, the end times, the signs that the, uh, the Lord gave us to look out for His return. These people cannot discern it. Two thirds of our own nation cannot discern that we're, we're in the actual time. Of Yahweh Shai coming back on this earth, man. We're we're in the time of Esau's uh, uh, downfall, of Babylon's downfall, you know. And it's gonna come as a thief in the night, man. It's gonna look just like it's looking now, just like bi a business as usual. All right. Just like in the days of Noah. Yeah. Just like we always gonna be. It's, it says in the First Thessalonians when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction is gonna come upon you. Cause it's gonna come as a thief in the night. You're gonna just be enjoying your day like a regular day, and then it's gonna just it's gonna just come upon you. Yeah. Right. I got the precept. It's, uh, Second Ezra's nine and one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time." Wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Yeah, where you, when you see part of the signs past that the Lord told you about, what are what are some of those signs? The blood moons, you know the uh, earthquakes, earth, and diverse places, earthquakes in diverse places, Up storm and tempest, uproars of the people, rumors of wars. Yep. All these the nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, all these different things you're seeing it come to pass. So you. We, you got to measure the times and you can only measure it if you're paying attention to what's going on yep. all right and you got to be in the spirit to know what's going on filtering it through the scriptures like like from our apostle and elders on down like we do we see we see a, a current event happen and what we bring it out and we bring out precepts on it because it's all scriptural it's all prophecy you know and that's the testimony of Yahweh Shai that's how you know these other camps these other these other cats man they don't have the testimony of Yahweh Shai in them because they're not they're not testifying a, a prophecy. They're not coming in the spirit of prophecy. They're not they're not breaking down prophecies and what's going on, and and and, and applying it to, uh, to to now from the scriptures, man. They're just what winging it or twisting it, and they're lying to the people. They're deceiving people, really, you know. Yeah, precept is uh, Matthew's twenty-four and thirty-seven, but as as the days of Noah were. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For yeah. as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Yeah, and so like basically it's just living a regular life. Like like right now, you got people getting married where somewhere across the world, people get married, giving in marriage, partying, just doing their regular life until the day the Lord the day of the day of the Lord, when the Lord returns, then they they still gonna be doing those same things when the Lord returns. 
just like in the days of Noah, when he was over there building up the ark and everything, nobody believed him. They didn't want to listen. He was just still building it, and then as he, when he got done with it, then when that rain came. Everybody, all of a sudden, that's when they wanted to go to go to him. When they seen that it was real, what he was talking about, but then it was too late. And that's how it's gonna be when the Lord comes. They gonna want to get right when the Lord comes, but then it's too late. They're going to be scared because they know that they were wicked their whole life and they never they never repented. It says, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. There shall two be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken and the other left. Yeah, so it's only going to be a remnant that the Lord is saving. It's not everybody that's going to receive salvation. It's only, like it says, two going to be in the field, one's going to get taken. And out of the women, it's, it's two women, only one's getting taken. So the Lord's only dealing with the a remnant, a remnant that were chosen to receive salvation. And that goes to show that the Lord, the further in of um, backing up with the brother, the other priest that the bro brought out, how the Lord is coming back for separation. He's, separ he's separating. And, and, and really, when you come into this word, you, you're, one, you're separated. All right, your, your so-called friends of the world, your family. They're not cool. They're not as cool as you because this word separates you from them, man. All right. This word is, is holy. All right. You know, so it causes it causes you to separate from them. They don't want to be around you. All right. And I'm like, damn, what happened to my to my son or my friend? This ain't this guy's bugged out. He's changed this and that. That's all a part of the Lord separating us from these people because because what we're we're different from them. And, and, and really, ultimately, they're being slated to be destroyed. OK. And, and Lord's will. If we endure to the end, we're we're being we're being uh, sealed and slated to be delivered, you know. And these people are gonna turn each other anyway. The family members they already uh, just look at this past Thanksgiving, man. Hey, or, or any hell of day, these people get together and fake family uh, family love. They always get into it. All right, it'd be good for a, for a minute or two, and they start arguing over some dumb stuff, you know. And then they just leave. They storm out. And they won't see each other for months to, to years, you know. And hey, man, they gonna they gonna turn on each other when when things hit the fan. Yep. The brother brought out how the uh, the Lord is gonna turn uh, the mother against the daughter, the son against the father, all that man, the household against each other, man. You know. Yeah, I got a precept. This is uh, Matthew twenty five and thirty one. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from yeah. another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. Yeah, the sheep uh, represents Israel, chiefly the elect of Israel, all right? And the goats represent uh, Esau, these heathen nations, and even two-thirds because they're they're liking unto um unto heathen men, all right. They have that uh that heathen that heathen mind state, and they're gonna die to the death of the uncircumcised man, you know. So that's gonna be placed. Uh, they're gonna be placed on the Lord's left hand, left hand side, man. Uh, uh, preserved for judgment, you know. It says, then shall the king say unto them on on his right hand, come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you. Yep. From from the foundation of the world. Yeah, it's talking about Yahweh Shai, the King of King, Lord's a Lord of Lords. Come, come, uh, ye blessed. All right, that's going to be a blessing, man, to be a part of the first resurrection. All right, to to actually see this destruction that we that we uh, uh spoke, uh, that we've been speaking about through the words and the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, and to be actually uh, uh delivered, man, to see the glory of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, to enslave the nations. You know that's that's a blessing, man. All right, to bring back the uh, the two thirds, okay. You know, and, and uh, go ahead. I said, for I was, for I was in hung hunger, and ye gave me meat. Mm -hmm. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Yep. Naked, and ye clothed me. Yeah, and, and and how did how did um how did those men do that? It's going to tell you. Go ahead, Doc. I was sick, and ye visited me. Mm -hmm. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when we saw, it says, when, when, when saw we thee, and hunger, and fed thee, 
or thirst and gave thee drink. Yeah, so they like, Lord, when when did we see when did we see you and you know get uh see you hungry, gave you food, see you thirsty and give you drink, you know? You you've you've been in uh in the heavens the whole time, you know? Go ahead, I when when saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Mm -hmm. Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto thee, Verily I say unto you, in so much as ye have done it unto unto one of my one of the least of of these my brethren. Let me read that again. It says, I say unto you, in so much as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Yeah, so when we when we minister unto the uh the brothers, okay? When we do these 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 lessons, hey, because Paul said, "I endure all things for the elect's sake," you know. So so when we when we be brotherly towards one another, when we exhort one another, all right. When we do these lessons, these shows, these these faith booster, uh, boosters, man. Hey, that's that's as if that's as if you're um, you're you're applying that to Yahweh Shai, you know. That's like that's as if you're you're clothing, you're feeding, you're healing Yahweh Shai, man, because you're healing one of his, you're you're feeding one of his. Your clothing one one of his, you know, and that's that's uh that's not a light thing, man. That's that's very uh important, and you can tell by this precept, the Lord the Lord uh the Lord takes a a, a glory honor in that, man. You know, he he looks at that in, in high regard. Yeah. All right, his servants uh, uh minister unto one in, uh, one another, you know, like like Yahweh Shai did to the uh, the disciples, which went on to be apostles. You know, he he, he washed their feet. All right, he humbled himself, and that's what this is all about: uh, humility before the honor coming, you know, and, and being being a brother, a sincere brother, you know, and, and actually wanting each other to get out of here, man, laboring, you know. It says then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, depart from me, ye cursed, in everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. That's right, man. So the hey, they um. Starting with Esau, all right, you, you're um, you're going to be placed into that that fire, man, that thermonuclear destruction, all right. Uh, a lot we know the um, the the wicked elites, all right, uh, in different um, different um, nations, all right, the top the top uh, so-called elites of the nations, they're going to escape the judgment to be rounded up by the elect, all right, as first crops of slaves in the slavery of uh, I mean the kingdom of Israel, you know. At the same time, they're going to be uh. They're going to be two-time losers <laughs> that's going to be left here to die, all right? And along with what? You two-thirds that, that take that RFID microchip, you're going to be in that fire as well, man. And you other uh, heathen nations, you know, you're all going to be uh, left to burn, all right? It says, for I was in hunger, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in. Mm -hmm. Naked, and ye clothed me not. Yep. Sick. And in prison, and ye visit me not. Yeah, and that's hey man, that, that applies to you, you guys that uh that dipped out from this from this truth, from this from this word, all right? You know, from the from the body. And you guys who took a Judas purse to uh pervert the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, who didn't prepare uh, uh his his people for this day, you know, who didn't tell them tell them the truth, all right. So the Lord is gonna say, hey, Hey, depart from me, you know. I never, I never knew you. All right. So all you, hey, you guys are in, um, you guys are in, uh, in for a rude awakening. You, you guys who think you, um, you ran off on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, who, th who think, who think that you, you, uh, you got away with, with it, you know. You're back in the world. All right. You may be counting FRNs, looking at your zombies that you got following you. But hey, man, the Most High did not forget about any of you guys, man, and he, he's coming back to uh, to see off to see off your uh, your destruction and your fate, you know. It says, "Then shall they they also answer him, saying, Lord, when when saw we thee in hunger, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee?" Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, and so much as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it, 
you did it not to me. Yeah. So the same way you you talk mess, all right, about the apostle, the elders, brothers of great millstone, you know the prophets. As much as you 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 did you went on a, a so-called great millstone smear campaign, all right, talking about they don't have the truth, all right, giving giving our people uh, 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 wine, different wine, you know, different sorts of philosophies when we're giving them the pure truth, you know. That blood, that blood is going to be upon you guys' head, man. All right, and you're gonna, you're gonna be in, um, in for a, a, a worse condemnation. You're gonna get the worst judgment of two thirds, and that's why, if you're still here when that, when that, um, those missiles come in, and you're not slated to be delivered, and you're an Israelite, you are the worst of the two thirds, man. That's who the Lord is talking to, you know, in this, in this scripture, man. You guys. Cause it's gonna be a lot of Jakes that die before this these um, these missiles be shot off, man. All right. So for so for you you cats that's still around when this when this uh this come down, man. You this applies to you, man. And a lot of you false prophets, a lot of you guys who 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 went back into the world, man. You're gonna hey you're gonna be in in that fire, man. The Lord is gonna make sure of it. Yep. Yep. It says all these all these shall go away into everlasting punishment. But the righteous into life eternal. Yep. Yeah, so let's talk about the two thirds and, the, and the, the niggas that knew about the truth and went back into the world. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to go into everlasting punishment, which is being destroyed by that nuclear destruction. Yep. And then the righteous into life eternal was talking about the elect and the, and the one third receiving um, the kingdom of heaven. You know, being joint heirs with Yahweh Shah, you know. That's right, man. I got another precept. This is uh, 2 Ezra 9. Second Ezra's nine and um, about to just go back. We was reading it earlier. Mm. Second Ezra's nine and uh, I started at uh, four. Second Ezra's nine and four. Well, I started at the top again. For why is good, good. Second Ezra's nine and one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made." So we measuring the time diligently, diligently in itself, and we're seeing the parts of the sign past which the Lord told us before. Like we read Matthew's twenty-four, the twenty-fourth chapter is a good uh, chapter that tells you a, a list of things that are going to take place on the earth before His return. You know, we seeing these signs, so we know that the, the day of the Lord is very close. You know. Yeah, and, and it says uh, signs in the moon. Coming, yeah. Hey, the brother, a brother just texted us. He said it's supposed to be a a, a super moon tonight. Yeah. Well, hold on. Is it a super moon? Yeah, super moon. Yeah, gun. And we know we're we're in the Sabbath right now, you know, and that's that's spiritual in itself. A full super moon, yeah. okay? You know, so that hey, that's a, that's another sign that something's about to happen, something big, okay? Yeah, these are all signs that the Lord is showing His men, because the only people that are seeing this is His elect. Yeah, the who, people that are in the in the watch, you know. Who who's actually having conversation like this, man? You don't hear niggas talking about nothing like this. Women, damn sure, these bitches ain't talking about this, man. All right. Only the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai have conversation like this. Cause we we know. Yeah, holy conversation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Conduct and everything, man. We're 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 uh, behaving ourselves and getting ourselves ready for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's return, man. Cause we know, we see, you know. So then shalt thou understand. That is, it is the very same time wherein, wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Yep, we, talk, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, bro. That's yeah. talking about Yahweh Shai visiting this world which he made. Yep. You know? The Most High, Yahweh sent his son back, Yahweh Shai, to reclaim his kingdom on the earth, you know? Because these people are in a comfortable mind state. They're in a, a, a proud, just a, a comfortable, you know, everything's at, at their beck and call. They can go to restaurants, eat, you know, fat fucking go to the, um, to the, uh, you know, the pizza lounge or whatever, you know, whatever these people eat in America, McDonald's, all that bullshit. They're in a comfortable state where everything's at their disposal. But that's all going to be taken away, you know. These people are not, are not expecting the Lord to make his second coming uh, on, on the earth and then in, in, interrupt their lives, you know. So that's why he, he he gave us signs to look for, so we it won't catch us like as a thief in the night. You know, we it, it won't be a surprise to us because we've been watching. You know, it says the Most High will begin to visit the world which He made. Therefore, 
when when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning yeah. and that's what you see going on is like uproars of the people and earthquakes all right you got people coming esau against esau basically all right people protesting all the time the things that the lord spoke about beforehand and that the prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai spoke about beforehand, because we out there prophesying the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah. It says, "For like as all that is in the, for like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning, and an end, and an end is manifest." Yeah. So the, America had its beginning when it was initially built up, had its, its time of prosperity. You know, when it was doing good, but now it's at the end, and the end is being made manifest. The, the debt is at 20, a historical high. They're never going to solve that problem. All right. And this place is just going down on every level. Yeah. And there's nothing that Esau can do to fix it. It says, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Yeah. And like the brother was saying, the signs of the super moon that's been to happen. The, uh, the blood moons All these different things The earthquakes You know the signs of the Lord Visiting his place All that is going on The Lord just letting it, Letting his men know You know what That we're at the end Because everybody else They don't know that Those are signs That the Lord are giving us yeah. They just think that It's so called Mother nature Like they like to call it When that's actually The Lord sending signs That he's been on his way back It's uh, The scriptures say a, a prudent man Foresee of the evil And hide it from himself You know and we're high. We're, we we foresee. We we uh we have that that um that that, that uh how do you say that spiritual uh vision? You know yeah, that the Lord. Uh, that, uh, you you like you said a vision. You know? Yeah. We hey, because the Apostle Gabar always goes and said you had you have to have vision in this thing. You know, so the Lord opened up our our, our pineal gland. You know, our so called third eye, to receive all uh to receive and see all this for what it is and, and for what's about to happen. And we're hiding ourselves in the uh, in the words in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and that we're recovering ourselves in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know. It says, even so, Crazy. even so, the times also of the highest have Crazy. plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Yeah, and he's gonna he's gonna do a powerful work uh, uh, here in Babylon, man. You know. Throughout the four corners, man, it's about to be some th some things you never seen. The Lord is really about to unleash, man. The chariots, all right. Yahweh Shai coming back. The angels, all right. Apparitions, animals being let loose, yeah. plagues, you know, earthquakes, volcano eruptions. More, it's gonna be a hey, the missiles, you know. It's gonna be a lot going on. And then what? These 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 uh, nations are gonna stop warring with each other and war with the Yahweh Shai and the angels, and they're gonna lose miserably. This to this to this to show the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all of that man, all uh, the elect getting uh, sp uh, the new spiritual bodies, being turned into hunters, you know. Yeah, that's the only reason why the America exists is for the Lord to show His power. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's he real. That Romans the ninth chapter, He rose up uh, America to on this great high level just so He can take it down, you know, in mm -hmm. one hour. You know? yeah, one hour. So you're gonna see all types of signs and events. You're gonna see, like the brother said, the chariots come out the sky. You're going to see uh, apparitions going back to, um, I think it's in um, Wisdom of Solomon when it speaks yeah. about the uh, yeah. when the Egyptians were plagued with darkness. That mm -hmm. What came with that darkness was apparition. They were seeing ghosts, hearing things, you know. That's going to take place in America, you know. You're going to see um, wild beasts change their places. Yeah. Animals coming out the sea, Leviathan coming yeah, out the sea, fair. you know. Tearing up Esau's, um, uh, what do you call it, navy, you know. Okay. It's gonna get it's gonna get some on some study how they said on some spooky shit, you know? Yeah. yeah. Some some that you think you would see in the movie. Like Esau always liked to make the movies about apparitions and wild beasts changing their places. All that's really gonna be going on. Yeah. Like the movie Jumanji. You yeah. know, they got a new one. They got a new one. Yeah, yeah, new one and shit. Faggot ass nigga, yeah. uh Dwayne uh oh, it's a bunch Dwayne of Dwayne Johnson. Him, him, Kevin Hart, all of them niggas. Oh man. You know, but hey, it's gonna be like that animals roaming up and down the streets because these zoo animals when this famine hit they gotta eat too they gonna bust out the uh, out the, out the zoo the lord gonna put the spirit on them to get out the zoo and be 
gonna be rhinos uh, uh, fucking your ass up, you know? Sorry. It says, it says, um, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works. That's right, man. You're not. Go ahead, go ahead, okay, keep going. And by faith, mm -hmm. whereby ye have believed. Yeah, you have you have to have faith, man. Without faith, it is impossible to please the heavenly Father, man. And the faith is a gift of the heavenly Father. You know, at least you boast of your own works. You know, that's that's good to say. Faith without works is dead. So sure. you gotta have both. That's right. You gotta show your faith through your works. Because mm -hmm. if you have faith, you you would do that. Yeah. Said, be not hearers of the word only, but also doers. You know, so you have to apply action. You know. It says, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and wherein my borders, for I have sanctified them in me from the beginning. And that's talking about the elect that was yeah. already predestined from the foundation of the earth to receive salvation. You know? That's right. So if you're a member of the elect, Lord's will, we, we be part of that number. You just got to keep fighting. The Lord yeah. is going to have a way for, for us to make it through all this because... But as America goes down, believe you me, our lives are going to be affected too. But what yeah. are we going to do? We're going to trust in Yahweh by Shai, you know, yeah. to guide us through whatever we got to go through in life, you know. Yeah. It says, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which have now abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Yeah, they're going to be in, they're going to be dwelling in torments and be in pitiful ways when they over there starving. They they in march um they in FEMA camps when martial law happened, wild beasts chasing you down. You are gonna be bugging out. Yeah, you are gonna be screaming. Why is this happening? Why? Yeah, you are gonna be calling upon the the the, um, the names that Esau taught you, saying Jesus and you know praying and thinking about that image when that's just gonna send more curses your way. And a lot of and you guys that that um that left or perverted the doctrine, man. It fell out. You're you're gonna be screaming. You're gonna be actually calling on the names, man. Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. Hey, man, the Lord gonna fuck you up, man. Yep. He gonna fuck you up. Go, cause zap your ass. Go ahead, bro. The scripture that say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, for I never knew thee. Yep. So they're gonna be screaming to the Lord, and he gonna say, look, I don't know you. you know? Yeah. A lot of you, uh, you, you was once a part of this thing, and you decided to dip out, to go back to, to be a fitness uh, uh motherfucker in the gym that. <laughs> This talks don't work out and shit. Uh, yeah. Motherfuckers all want to teach that um, Babylon is the new um. Yeah. It's, it's the Vatican City, you know. Yep. Uh, you know a lot. A lot of you that's perverting the doctrine. You don't want to teach the names of the Lord. You know, the Lord going. Hey, hey, you gonna have to deal with this, you know. Yeah. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which have now abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. That's all you receive in this society is nothing but benefits. The Esau, he, he designed it for you to receive benefits so you don't know the Lord. Yeah. You think that it's a good, like they teach you in churches, if the Lord is dealing with you, you're going to be prosperous in society. You're going to have a good job, house, with all this different stuff, these different benefits that Esau gives you. Yeah, carnal blessings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Things, things that please the flesh. Yeah, Esau, he, what he does is Esau rewards you for being wicked. You know? He yep, rewards yep. you for your wickedness. You know, Anything that goes against the laws, statutes, and commandments of, this, of these scriptures, the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, he'll reward you for that. Mm -hmm. That's why them niggas in Hollywood, what's the, in order for you to be, uh, come up in Hollywood, what do you got to do? You got to go to the casting couch. You got to bend over, pretty much be a faggot, you know, a uh, sodomite, you know. Yeah. Uh, the women, they got to be complete hoes and sluts. They got to get um, get all types of trains ran on them, you know, just to make it up there and receive them benefits, you know. But Esau set the society up for that exact purpose, to go against the laws of the Heavenly Father. And you get rewards for that when you're wicked, you know. But there's a punish. There's an actual punishment for that, you know. It says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, so you received all these benefits in, in, in this world, but you, in not, you didn't have a chance to know the Lord. And pretty much the Lord didn't leave no excuse for you because it says, And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when yet a place of repentance was opened unto them, how is a place of repentance open unto you? The Lord has his prophets through the four corners of the earth 
telling you to get right and repent. Because right now we're in the grace period and that time is almost coming to an uh, end, you know. Yeah. Pretty soon it's going to be time for the judgment. But the Lord gave you a, a chance to repent. That's showing you he's a fair power. Yeah. When we, you know how many Jakes pass by the camp and don't even uh, act like we're not even there, you know. Don't even consider that what they're passing by is their, their, um, their, their, um, their history, you know. Yeah. Well, hey, they, hey, they, they, they uh, pursuing the Isaiah the sixth chapter, the Lord has an angel blinding them from getting this truth in the first place, because he, he has to be justified in killing two thirds of his own people. Yeah. It says, and they that have loathed my law while they had yip, let yet liberty, and when the place of repentance was opened unto them. They understood not, but despised it. Said they don't understand when they come by the camp or when they see the videos and they talk shit. When they see the apostles, they come by the uh, camp talking shit. They may uh, scoff. They don't realize that an actual place of repentance is open unto them from the Lord, you know. They look at us as it's just men. You ain't coming against men. We're just the mouthpiece of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. So you understood not that the Lord was talking to you, telling you to repent. Look, look, I'm, I'm giving you a chance to um, turn away from your wickedness and serve me so you can escape this judgment that I'm bringing. They, but they didn't understand it. They despised it. So it says, the same must know it after death by pain. So you're going to know the loss. The, you don't know the um, Yahweh Bashim Shah, you know, after you die through nuclear destruction, you know. Yeah. After, you, after, you, after you die a painful death, you're going to go back to the spiritual world and you're going to know the Lord, you know. You're going to realize you fucked up. Right. So the Lord, that gave really, you know, it's really, that's when the fear of the Lord comes in, cause he, a power that can uh, actually give you a chance to repent, but you really have no chance anyway. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. the two thirds ain't got a shot, but he's justified in doing that, cause he can do whatever he want to do. You know. Yeah. He and pretty then, much gave you over to a reprobate mind, so he can destroy you. Yeah. And they the same ones that they back in the, uh, in the reincarnation came against, come, they came against the prophets. Yeah, against the prophets. And came against the Lord. Yeah. They had Yahweh Shai. They, they turned them over to the Romans and said, "Crucify him, crucify him." And then they said, when they um, realized that he was the Son of the Most High, they said, "Let his blood be upon us and our children." And that's yeah. why a lot of you All niggas, this a lot of you niggas is dying to this day because you're the same spirits that was back there saying, "Let his oh, blood be blood. upon us and our children." You know. Right. Okay. Yeah. Y'all had anything else? Uh, yeah, that's, that's it unless you, you had anything, bro. Yeah, pretty much we just ended on that, you know. Uh, the Lord yeah. is bringing judgment to the uh, to, to the righteous and judgment to the wicked, you know. Yeah. The righteous are going to receive salvation and be delivered, and the wicked is going to be destroyed. You know? Yeah, as the scriptures say, everybody's going to have to uh, appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai and be, um, and be recompensed according to their works, you know, whether it be good or evil. Yeah. So, hey, man. We hope that the Lord looks at our good works and overlook our, our past evil works. You know, that's why we do what we're doing. That's why the apostles, the elders, every everybody doing. That's why we're going so hard, man. It says give for us, uh, give diligence to make thy calling election short. It's, it's, it's no, no. Uh, basically, it's not the Lord. The Lord didn't just come and, and, and give us a special sign. Uh, you know what I mean? Just tell us basically whisper in our ear. Hey, hey, you, you, you one of the elect. No, you know. He gave us certain uh, certain guidelines to follow, yeah. and then he said he said what the elect the elect would display certain characteristics, you know. So so we're doing our best to uh, align ourselves with that, you know. Yeah. And, and 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 it's getting to a point now where it's like it's undeniable that great those of great millstone would have to be the potential elect members because if not, then who else, you know? Who else is who else is is, is doing what we're doing? From our apostle and elders on down, man. Diligently, you know. I got one last scripture we can end it on this. Uh, Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set yep. watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, and give him no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Yeah. Yes. You got it. Give him no rest till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, man. That's why we constantly call out to the Lord. We constantly go out there doing the work on the highways and hedges, do our videos, and doing everything we can to stay in the spirit until the Lord make us a praise in the earth, man. When we received, when the the chosen man received that power, 
and then this place is destroyed, and then the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is exalted. It says, give him no rest. Pretty much, you're supposed to get on the, the Heavenly Father's nerves, you know? Yeah. He's supposed, supposed to be hearing so much crying that he said, okay, I, I'm going to do something. Yeah. That's how it was in the ancient times. We, yep, would, we, yep. Would get, um, we would get chastened, and the Lord would raise up a nation to come against us, and then we'd cry to the Lord so much that he would raise up a Savior to deliver us, you know? So in, these, in this time, he's sending his son, but we got to constantly cry to the Lord, you know, because he's the only power that knows the exact date and time that this thing is going to go down, you know. And he has the power to speed time up, you know. So we got to constantly cry to the Lord to end this, you know, and, and be diligent. Keep keep doing your shows, whatever talents you have. Keep doing whatever you can to, um, to increase this truth, you know. That's right. That's right, man. Hey, because the work is... It's plenty, uh, plenty is what the uh, the laborers are few, you know. So we we have to, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, do all that we can. It's in our power, and, and pray towards the heavenly Father to to strengthen us, you know, and, and so that we can we can perform our our positions to to the to the best of our capability, even better, you know. So yeah, so with that, um, hopefully we were edifying to you, brothers, man. And um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and close out. Once again, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai. Double honors to our apostle and elders of Great Millstone, and honors and salutations to you brothers that's preaching this word in sincerity and truth. You know, hey, this thing, this thing is happening. You know, all we have to do is continue to maintain the faith in the works. All right, to the very end, that is. You know, because if you don't maintain it to the end, the Lord, the Lord is gonna. Uh, uh, turn a blind eye to, to all your works and he's going to number you to the sword you're going to be one of those one of those that could be reserved for that that eternal fire you know and us brothers man we don't want to be that you know we don't want to be nowhere near that that predicament all right so yeah man that's this this is for uh this is the judgment for these demons all right you know so with that we want to say a uh, death to america man shalom shalom, shalom.